Yes, folks, this little toy right here, which is off of a hammer set for a little toddler, and I found it in my bag, my first aid kit, about an hour ago. I've been looking for it, and this little guy has been clutch for helping me overcome my plantar fasciitis issues, which is a tendon in the bottom of your foot, feet, both feet had plantar fasciitis tendon things. And so I had surgery on my right foot in college on my plantar fasciitis. And so my left foot, every maybe 18 months, it flares up a little bit and I just got to uh, ice it, take some ibuprofen and roll it out, roll it out with this little guy. And this guy is way better than anything I've ever purchased on the market from doctors or from medical um, sales people. <laughs> because yeah, basically you can just dig in real good. I know that's a little too much information, but I love this thing. If you have plantar fasciitis issues, comment below, and maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. All right, folks, I'm home alone. Uh, the boys, True Love, uh, Grandma Sita, Kate the Great, Balita, they're all up in the mountains at a cabin for a night. So I am here trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I'm just kidding. I've got plenty to do, working on editing, all sorts of stuff, so I have plenty to do, but it's weird to be in a quiet house. It's baffling. Appetizer first. Appetizer first. So if you're ever looking to rent any sort of film equipment, whether it's for a couple weeks, few days, whatever it is, definitely tell so you. As a video editor, there are so many audio inputs that are not true. If you're doing an interview or just run and gun shooting, run the mic out of the also then you can get the Clausen, they're the best. They're the best. Hands down, Clausen. Thank you, true love, for enlightening my life with Clausen. I just talked to the camera for about three or four minutes and forgot to hit record. So we're doing it again. <laughs> so maybe the second time will be better. Basically, I am trying to do the little things right now on a Tuesday evening to get ready for the big things on Saturday. So I ran the 50K last Saturday, went well. The Under Armour Copper Mountain 50K, I took second place, maybe, maybe. And we'll leave that as it is. And so in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in four days, I'm running another 50K. I would not recommend this. It was not really in the plan but I couldn't pass up a local race that looked well organized, and it was, had some good prize money, and it did. And so I hopped in the race last Saturday at Copper Mountain. It was fun, took second, maybe. And so the next race is called the Speed Go 50K, and it's put on by Carl Metzler. He's the race director, and Carl has won more 100 mile races than any human being in history. So he's the 100-mile king, king of the hill, if, you could, if I could put it that way. He's won a lot of 100-mile races. He's tough, and he puts on a tough race. Because this race last Saturday was 6,000 6, feet of vertical. The race this upcoming Saturday is 12,000 feet of vertical. Double, 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 double. That's all, you know, just doubling the vert. So it's going to be tough. I got to work on my weakness. Remember my weakness, the hills in the last third of the race. I got I to gotta work on that. So I was at the rec center today doing some stretching, doing some rolling out of the thighs and the quads and the calf muscles because I'm still pretty, you know, pretty sore, pretty tired from last Saturday. But I feel good compared to 12 hours ago when I woke up. Um, I, you know, I was a little concerned 12 hours ago about how, you know, how I was going to recover, but I'm feeling better, feeling better. Doing the little things, rolling out even the plantar fascia. So, we love you guys. Um, question of the day, I just got to ask, what do you do when you're in a quiet house or at your office and it's quiet or at a coffee shop and it's like dead quiet? I don't know, like what do you think about? Because I'm sitting in my house getting a lot done, but it's weird. Very strange, very strange. That's the question of the day. Like, I have not uh, extinguished the rat yet. That's right. Uh, the mouse trap, rat trap, is sitting right over there, and it's still there. I think maybe the dogs next door may have gotten the rat because I haven't seen any more evidence of the rat coming around uh, in the last maybe two or three days. Two days, two days. So, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, the rat, I don't know, I don't know. I have not won. It has not won. The battle continues. And the shoe collection grows. Grateful. Grateful. 
God bless my wife. Let me have tripods all over the house all the time on the patio. Gotta have your tripods. I've got three, three set up at all times. The only bug I ever really liked, the roly-poly. You nailed it on that one, big guy. You nailed it on that one. Sometimes we all just need a little catch-up vlog in our life, right? Just a little catch-up. Going through your comments. Yes, I read every comment, folks. I really do. Uh, and I try to respond as promptly as possible. Kofuzi, Haley, Damien, Michael, the Dreaming Daily. <laughs> Not sure. Don't know you. That's okay. Matthew, Angie. True love, uh, Skyler. Anyway, Lisa, thank you all for commenting. I'm looking through for the best one of the week. Heather, Bud, Will. Sorry I don't know all your names. When you use, like, nicknames for your handle, like the year I got the runs. <laughs> Fred. Oh, Fred. Thank you, thank you. We're going to go with Michael. Short and sweet, but it's about the racing and the GoPro. That's getting uh, quite a bit of buzz. Recently, the fact that I am willing to carry... Well, I'll just read it. I'll just read it. Michael says, Bravo. Hard to believe that you were able to actually bear the extra weight and bulk of a camera and expand the extra effort to film. Well done, sir. And a couple other people have made similar comments on Strava and other places, I think Twitter. And listen, it's very lightweight. Uh, when you're carrying a liter of water on your back, the extra weight of the GoPro really isn't there. It's just not there. Like, I was carrying a liter of water on my back, and half of it was frozen, which was another, that's another tip of the day to keep your body temperature down. And I'm going to do that again this weekend. And so, I don't know, I should weigh, I should weigh the GoPro to see how much it weighs, but it does not weigh much. Michael, thank you for the comment and the concern about the weight and the effort. Who was, I think it was Fred, asked, um, you know, does, uh, what did he say? He said, do you think the GoPro slows you down in the race? And no, no, I do not, not at all. And when I pull it out to film in the race, you know, I'm usually making hand gestures, like what place I'm in, and I've, I'm not talking that much, um, and it's usually on a flat or downhill section. Anyway, usually, usually. Love you guys. Thanks for commenting so much. Thanks for being here on this catch-up vlog, and we are going to bed, because... I don't have to brush teeth. Well, I have to brush my teeth, but I don't have to brush the boys' teeth. I'm going to bed. Um, man, man. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, YouTube!